In this video, we will be solving a complex derivative using three main rules, the chain rule, quotient rule, and product rule. This problem requires all three rules to successfully derive it. Before we attempt to solve this problem, let's first review the three rules. The product rule is used when we try to differentiate the product of two unlike functions. If the two functions can't be combined, the product rule is necessary to compute the derivative. We will first find the derivative of f of x, shown by f prime of x, multiplied by the g of x function. We will add to this the derivative of g of x, shown by g prime of x, multiplied by f of x. The sum of these two terms is the derivative. Now let's look at a simple example. Here are the functions x and e to the x. Following the steps above, we will first find the derivative of the x function, which is 1, and multiply that by e to the x. Then we will add to this the derivative of e to the x and multiply that by the x function to get our derivative. The quotient rule is used when differentiating problems where one function is divided by another. Let's practice. We will again begin by multiplying the bottom function in this case g of x, by the derivative of the top function, shown as f prime of x. This time we will then subtract from this the top function, multiplied by the derivative of g of x. Divide this by g of x squared. A way to remember these steps is through the expression low d high minus high d low over low squared. In this example, we have the numerator, 3x plus 4, divided by 5x cubed. Following our quotient rule steps, we note that we will multiply the denominator by the derivative of the numerator, which is 3, and subtract that by the numerator multiplied by the derivative of the denominator. After we square the denominator, we have completed the derivative. However, the answer is not finished until we simplify completely. It is important to remember that the chain rule differentiates compositions of functions. The chain rule states that we must take the derivative of an outer function first before taking the derivative of an inner function. This time our function is raised to an exponent n. We know that to derive a function using exponents, we multiply the exponent by the coefficient and subtract our exponent by 1. In the chain rule, this idea does not change. Now that we have derived the outer function, we multiply the outer function by the derivative of the inner function. All trigonometric functions use the chain rule. First, we derive the outer function, the cosine part, whose derivative is negative sine, and leave the inner function, 7x, alone. We then multiply this term by the derivative of 7x, which is 7. Returning to our problem, we must first identify which of the three rules we reviewed encompasses the others. As we can see, it would be quotient rule, as it uses both the numerator and the denominator, whereas the product and chain rules are specifically in the numerator. Since we have identified that the quotient rule is the rule we will apply to derive the function, we should then derive both the numerator and the denominator in order to apply these to the quotient rule when we reach that step. The numerator requires both a product rule and a chain rule, and the product rule contains the chain rule. Therefore, we will use the product rule in solving for this function. The derivative is created by multiplying the first term, 2x squared, by the derivative of the second term, cosine 2x times 2. Added to this is the derivative of the first term, 4x, times the second term, sine 2x. Finally, we will combine like terms to get the final answer for the numerator. Now that we know the derivative of the numerator, we can solve for the quotient. As we reviewed, the quotient rule begins with the denominator function, in this case 4x plus 1, multiplied by the derivative of the numerator function, which we solved for in the last slide. We will then subtract the numerator, 2x squared times sine 2x, multiplied by the derivative of the denominator, which is 4. The next step is to divide our derivative by the denominator squared. This will give us our final answer of 16x cubed minus 4x squared times cosine 2x minus 8x squared minus 4x times sine 2x, all over 4x minus 1 squared. 